New Riff Kentucky Straight Bourbon. Is it everything it's supposed to be? So in order for a bourbon to be considered a Kentucky Straight Bourbon, there are two basic requirements beyond the fact that it's a bourbon. The first one is that it's produced in Kentucky. New Riff produces all of their products in Newport, Kentucky, which is technically, yes, in Kentucky. But it's about 300 yards from the Ohio River and the Ohio State Line. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure from their building, which I have been to, you could probably watch the Cincinnati Bengals play. But they technically skirt that, so they are definitely made in Kentucky. The second is that it's aged for two years, and per their website, their Kentucky Straight Bourbon is aged for four. So yes, it qualifies as a Kentucky Straight Bourbon. New Riff is also a fairly new distillery. They were established in 2014, and the founder and a lot of their people come from what they term corporate refugees from other industries, from politics to beverage and liquor distribution. They really take a lot of pride in using traditional Kentucky sour mash, bottled in bond production methods in their bourbon. They use what they call bottled in bond without chill filtration because they believe that it adds a better flavor. They also use a higher rye content sour mash which they believe is a traditional Kentucky sour mash. They're very uh, keen on becoming one of the world's great small distilleries. And in order for me to t tell whether or not they've actually achieved that goal, I'm gonna need to taste it. So on the nose, I do get that traditional bourbon uh, aroma. I, I, I kind of describe that as kind of an oak and vanilla, little bit of butterscotch in there. I do get a hint of the higher rye content of this bourbon. It has that slight type of, um, uh, almost a bread type of aroma on the taste. Okay, right away I get from the Kentucky Kiss all the way through the back of my mouth, I get that peppery clove, a slight mint type of flavor but it's definitely got some heat to it from the lips all the way to the back. Uh, there's a little bit of vanilla in the background and there's kind of something that I'm having a little bit of hard time placing. Um, so I think it's kind of a darker berry, kind of like a blackberry or a raspberry flavor on the background in on the finish that I was having a hard time uh, identifying. It is a, a, a slightly sweet type of a dark flavor. Really enjoy it. It comes through on the end, so it has a very pleasant finish. This is a higher rye content bourbon, so I think people that like the higher rye whiskeys are gonna enjoy this a little bit more. It's a very bold, peppery flavor. I really do like it, and I think New Riff is kind of living up to that, that mission that they want of being a really great small distillery. This is a quality product. It's definitely worth the $40 or so that it takes for us to get a bottle of this in our area. If you like whiskeys, go check out our other whiskey reviews up here. Hit that like and definitely hit that subscribe button and we'll see y'all back here at the camp.